Hey friends, I'm Deep Gautam. Welcome to .NET Techie and today is very special day to talk about Angular 5. So today I'm gonna to talk about what's new in Angular 5 which has been released just yesterday and it was the long waiting moment. There were uh, so many RC releases for Angular 5 and they have came up with the very good version, very good and stable and with nice feature in angular 5 so let's see what are the key features of angular 5 so before that uh, there uh, will be question on your mind why google is releasing these many version of the angular so what was the google objective to release the angular new version so i tried to find out the answer for this question and the answer is this release continues our focus on making angular smaller faster and easier to use this is the word by google developers in the conference so they are concentrating on making the angular smaller faster and easier to use that's why it is the best client side library to use in any application and mostly use client side library because the google is continuously focusing on their uh, performance and uh, easier to use and uh, uh, nice feature so let's talk about the key features what are the key features key features in angular 5 is the first thing which they have done is build optimizer so what build optimizer does it it's like uh, uh, it's using the angular cli and by default it gives you angular aot so it uh, compiles pretty faster and make the production ready build for you which and this angular cli has been introduced newly they have upgraded with the little features called cli 1.5 version newly released second thing which they have given the important thing is state transfer api for client and server side so in the client side and server side you can transfer the state you can manage the state and where they have given two different module called server transfer state module and browser transfer state module third thing is compiler improvements so in the compiler improvement they have given some extra command while running angular 5 such as ng sub and hyphen hyphen dash dash aot and preserve white space to preserve the white space between the control some more extra decorator on the component such as uh, uh, export uh, as and all now fourth thing is internationalized numbers date uh, and currency five so they have given some more extra filter to format the numbers to format the date to format the currency so these are the, there is one more library which has been introduced and we, you, we can use to achieve internationalized number date and currency and pipes fifth thing is export as so now earlier we were having the foundation when we do export as we were able to only export one components or one properties or one service stuff now we do have the flexibility to export multiple components so export as can be used to export multiple things and the sixth the very impact, uh, important one is http client module has been introduced and they have deprecated at the rate angular http so this library has been deprecated because of the performance issue and they have got very good response for, uh, in http client module which they have introduced in angular 4.4 so as we are now no more http module now it will be http client module to consume the http services seventh thing good features on template and reactive forms such as ads updates on and blur and submit so whatever the template and reactive forms over there they have introduced some new features and events called ads update on blur or submit which uh, will give user more control on the form developer more control on the form to perform any activities rxjx 5.5 has been introduced along with the angular 5 which has improved impro, uh, imports and performance of rxjx so earlier we were importing in some different manner where we need to import full rxjx in order to use add operator or map now this time they have given the flexibility to import the rxjx partially whatever is needed that part only we can 
export so this is the great improvement in rxjx because rxjx is the one who provides a subscriber stuff that means observable pattern it provides us and it's the great feature for angular uh, 5 which can be used along with the rx uh, js routing life cycle has been changed so little change in uh, routing life cycle where the different life cycle of the routes has been given and it had been changed which is uh, good uh, for angular 5 with respect to the performance now so it uh, comes uh, where all i can go and read it up so you need to go to angular.io in the blocks you will get the first link saying that angular 5 release they talks about these stuff and in the details please go through this and also i would like to tell my user or viewers they have given a link how you can upgrade from angular 4 to 5 so do not be panic between angular 4 or angular 2 to 5 because there is performance improvement between these models and there is only one thing wherever you are using http web, web api calling there you need to change little bit such as instead of http model you need to import http client model that's the only the breaking change between the previous version and this version otherwise everything is extra value added for us so like uh, the thanks for watching this video and i hope i like it please like subscribe and comment on my channel